And away from uh, uh, Germany and from Europe, let's go to East Africa. Their fears of supporters of Kenya's opposition leader may not accept election results as pocket of riots break out in opposition strongholds. The opposition leader himself, Raila Odinga, has cried foul over the election results so far. Uh, figures being reported by sections of the media put incumbent Uhuru Kenyatta in the lead with over 50% already, but the opposition will have none of it. Raila Odinga has described the election as fraudulent and alleged the electoral system has been hacked. So far, ballots from about 94% of polling stations have already been counted and the results released by the country's electoral commission. Local journalists say the tension in the country is almost tangible. Let's speak with Ambassador Tewode, who is director of the Peace and Security Division of IGAD, as well as the head of the Election Observer Mission to Kenya. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. What's the situation in Kenya at the moment? Uh, the situation basically is the ele election process is yet not completed. Mm. Uh, still, uh, counting of the votes are going on. Uh, uh, results are coming. Uh, still, the result shows that the incumbent is leading the, uh, the results of the election. Uh, of course, uh, there, are, there are news now from the local media. There are dark clashes in some parts of the country mm. and also even in some of the Islam areas of Nairobi. Mm. We know that there have been some uh, riots in opposition strongholds as well. How is your outfit helping, you know, bring a calm in, 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 in this situation? Mm, I'm sure you'll get from several uh, uh, international observer missions here in, in Nairobi, where all are asking for uh, refrain from any uh, conflict, from any dispute, simply because it is not yet completed. And uh, as observers, actually, especially uh, my team from IGAD, uh, the polling stations, the process of the uh, of the election from opening up to uh, the final uh, counting stage, we have been uh, able to observe where the people of Kenya have shown their uh, utmost uh, interest to to vote for their right. Hmm. So the turn, the turn uh, out of voters was good. Voters demonstrated calm and patience in even in long queues. Uh, as many of the policy polling stations that we observed. Uh, so uh, I, I think that uh, the people of Kenya deserve uh, that their right to be. Uh, respected by all parties. Already the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, is not very happy. He's alleging that the election system has been hacked. That's a serious allegation. What is your outfit yeah. doing about that as well, trying to, uh, to so that you'll ensure that there's, there's understanding among the players in, in this election? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, actually uh, we have listened uh, uh, to Raila uh, giving uh, all those uh, hacking issues is very technical, uh, but actually the the things that we observe uh, that the polling stations and the the new system that they introduced uh, have been operational, have been working uh, basically. So it's very difficult then me as an observer. To, to understand that there was hacking or not, but the Electoral Commission has already come out and said that we have all the capacity of verifying it. Uh, therefore, uh, though there is allegations of uh, hacking, very technical, 
And then that has to that has to go through the uh, process of putting the, the, their their complaint to the uh, to the commission, electoral commission, so that it goes uh, through rectification. Otherwise, you cannot simply say that there was hacking or not. Hmm. But at the moment, uh, what his position is will affect the it will affect what happens after the elections, and that is a very crucial moment. And we're we're talking at, about a country that has a history that, of course, is not very pleasant when it comes to uh, the elections. And so this is something that you want to, you know, promote some vigilance here. Yep, it is actually eager. Uh, as a regional organization and, and uh, an organization which has been working effectively on trying to manage and resolve conflicts, is now vigilant. I am sure the, the, the chairperson of IGAD is communicating with all IGAD uh, heads of state and government that these people deserve that peace uh, and, and democratic. If there is any dispute, it has to go through uh, the uh, resol dispute resolution mechanisms because the me mechanisms are already set. Mm. How soon so should I, we? How soon should you? Are you expecting all of this to end? And how do? You, what do you want to see at the end of today? Perhaps tomorrow as well. Uh, I, I I really like to see um, that uh, the, the election process, uh, as we observed, was credible. It was uh, peaceful. Uh, and, and, and then, uh, actually, also, the process has been uh, going smooth. Uh, okay. And as I say, it is not yet completed. So there has to be patience okay. from the uh, Raila side that mm. they have uh, to give a uh, chance to the, the commission to address all the, the issues, okay. uh, concerns that are raised by the, by the, by the uh, NASA party. Okay. So uh, that's what I, we want to see. We, uh, and also we really, as eager, because it was our reach. Uh, we, uh, uh, we really call all political parties and candidates to respect the will of the people of Kenya, to refrain from any act that no. might be of disruptive nature, right. to the, uh, and to the peace and stability of the country. Because okay. these people had, wrong, had had an experience Yeah. Uh, 2007 and eight. Uh, actually, therefore, they don't want to see again people dying on the streets uh, simply because... Uh, Maybe because someone wants power. Right. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that will not happen. Uh, sir, thank you very yeah, much. Yes, mm. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to you once again, uh, hopefully at the time that uh, we have some certainty of what's happening there. Uh, Ambassador Tawade Gibri Meskel is Director of Peace uh, of the Peace and uh, Security uh, Division of EGAD. And EGAD is Intergovernmental Authority on Development that caters for uh, a block of countries, including Kenya.